So everything is hooked up. Yesterday we got the last bit of panels hooked up. So I let it kind of sit overnight. We're turn on these inverters. So this is the, uh, the solar disconnect. So we'll turn that on. Turn that on. So the system's firing up. It does this little countdown thing. So that one turned on. That one turned on. So you can see it's charging. You can see this one's charging over here. And then that's actually the power coming in is what has these units on right now. So then you hit on. So then the inverter actually comes on now. You hit on. This little bar starts to light up and go different colors. So everything seems to be working as it should. I still have to set some parameters on these for the uh, the battery setup that you can program which this is labeled as 2p1 at 120 volt and then this one is 180 off of this one that I have set and this one's labeled 2p2 and they communicate through their cables down to the battery setup down here. Um, and these are all the communications cables in green. Um, they said to hook a communication cable to each unit, um, which I was getting error 61 on, on 2P2, which is this unit, um, because uh, you have to let it know that there's duplicate communications. See, so there's one here, and there's one here. So as long as you have that uh, identified, then the units know how to respond. But everything is working perfectly on this. Um, no complaints so far. Um, so I'm going to learn more about it. Uh, Today I'm going to call up uh, the company and ask a couple more questions that I have. Um, I can actually double the amount of panels that I have outside. Um, I have 22 panels. So. See this one. I'm supposed to say so this one I get does the air 61 again. So you hold down, okay, and then you go to number five, and you go to use. And then that's fixed. So now that that re-identified it. I did it yesterday night um, for the Air 61 um, to tell them that this communication cable is okay. So that's basically the error that's coming through. Uh, that's what Signature Solar told me, um, which it works. So we'll go outside and look at the system. So it is a snowy morning. It was super cold last night down 19 but uh i did all this wiring uh, so i connected these in a lot of the stuff's gonna be ran through conduit so um we got our cable here that will be ran through conduit and connect into 
main spot over here. Everybody's labeled one through four. So like this is unit three, this is unit four. Um, the other one's a two and one. So I know exactly what array is which and I have it labeled inside. So like, you know, this one here's four on the pigtail. This one here is four, goes to that guy. It's just a way for me to uh, know what little array is what. Um, but yeah, it's it's slowly progressing. Um, I'm definitely going to do a build an entirely another one of this whole system, and I may add another EG4 uh, inverter and a couple more batteries. So I'll I'll grow this whole system as time goes on. But so far, I'm pretty happy with the way my brackets are. Um, they're, they're doing a really great job. Still have to order two more panels for this one here. Um, but I kind of have them positioned like this right now um, because of how the sun comes up. Um, this one I still have to put the bolts in and get it positioned just right but uh the sun comes up over here and it goes across and it ends right here so these are kind of like side to side so like this would be catching morning light and this would be catching uh sundown well not sundown but midday to sundown so this is like half of the day plus some and this is the remainder of the day. Obviously I can uh, move these a little bit better, but um, when I have them full upright, they all can be right next to each other.